and good evening and thank you for joining us for K Ag's News at 6. I'm William Johnson. Now the ongoing opioid epidemic continues to affect countless communities and claiming thousands of lives in just the past several years. And our K Ag's Andrea Uribe actually joins us live in studio with more on this topic. Hey Andrea. Yeah, William, in the 12 month period ending in January 2022, over 100,000 people in the U.S. died from drug overdoses and drug poisonings. And 67% of those deaths involved opioids like fentanyl. Scientists at Texas A&M are making progress in better understanding how fentanyl affects the brain. According to the DEA, Houston DEA, which covers the Brazos as well, it's part of their territory, uh, the search and seizures of fentanyl contaminated illicit drugs is double the amount of all other illicit substances combined. Combined. The Department of Neuroscience at Texas A&M School of Medicine is tackling this national issue by identifying the specific parts of the brain that are affected by opioids. The, after repeated fentanyl exposure and then withdrawal, and the uh, striatal uh, fentanyl response neurons send the inhibited output to the amitabine dopamine neurons and suppress the dopamine activity and this may cause the anxiety and depression or those negative emotions and this may drive uh, 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 individuals to uh, seek uh, uh, future fentanyl use. The study found that fentanyl inhibits the decision-making and emotional processing area of the brain, suppressing dopamine and creating a dangerous cycle of addiction. Dr. Wang hopes this study will provide new insights into the underlying effects of opioids. We are still far away uh, to develop the treatment, but however, uh, uh, we know better than before how this drug to work. And, and this will help uh, uh, other studies, other researches to, uh, to develop the drug. Now we can pinpoint uh, some group of neurons and in the future, uh, in the future People can yeah, study specific on those group neurons. And there are always many resources in the area, like BV Casa, to reach out to if you or someone you know are experiencing substance abuse issues. Back to you, William.